Hey, what's up, boys and girls? Today, we'll give you all the information about the next Sherlock Holmes video game. It'll be called Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. I will tell you about the missions, the characters, its open world, the game mechanics, and much more. Okay, now let's get started. This installment is about a prequel in which the origins of the detective are narrated. Set in the 19th century, the game will star a young and rebellious Sherlock who has to return to a Mediterranean island where his mother died to solve a mystery. This is the first open world game that we find in the series, and the first game that won't be set in London. The peaceful island hides a corrupt and criminal network under its quiet appearance, something that will make you face more than one pitfall during your investigation. It'll be an open world game. The clues of the mysteries will be hidden throughout the Mediterranean city, and to find them, we'll have to explore the island. The player must explore and discover clues on his own, more naturally as a detective than he is. The game is not going to tell you where to go or what to do. You need to think through the clues, the world and the characters to know what to investigate next. We will also have to use rumors, costumes, instincts and evidence to be able to solve the case with the greatest possible certainty. For example, if we are trying to find someone and we have some evidence that our suspect is left-handed, we can flag this evidence, which means you tell the game that you want to focus on it. And then, when we go into focus mode, we will start to analyze the people around us based on this evidence. We will see descriptions that tell you if someone is left-handed or right-handed. And if you find someone who fits the profile, you can approach them and ask them some questions. Some will not want to talk, so you may need a police costume, for example. Once in this role, you can use the concentration mode again to predict how people will react. A new system has also been implemented. It allows us to decide whether the witnesses lie or tell the truth, a decision that we can freely make in relation to Sherlock Holmes' intuition. As a developer explains, like Sherlock, your legacy is written by the choices you make in this open world. Disappointments, violence, and deductions are some of the resources in the arsenal of the character, who will be accompanied by the mysterious John. And well, I clarify that this John is not Dr. John Watson, who always accompanies him in all his adventures. In the original story, Sherlock Holmes and John Watson know each other until they are adults, and this is something that they producing a studio hasn't wanted to alter. Jonathan is Sherlock's best friend and only friend. He's not as smart nor does he have Sherlock's powers of observation, but he makes up for it with bravery and loyalty. He has a good sense of humor and never misses an opportunity to tease his friend. Their relationship and how it develops will be seen in the game. Jonathan won't always be with Sherlock, but we can call him whenever we need him. He will be of great help for the investigations. He can contribute new points of view for the clues, draw crime scenes, highlight points of interest in the city, and of course, leave sarcastic comments. Be careful because Jonathan could be a character that ends up looking down on Sherlock, depending on the actions we take as a player. There'll also be a combat system with weapons that can help us, but Sherlock's best tools will be his observation skills, which can use the elements of our environment to his advantage to kill enemies while keeping his hands clean. The developer highlights that the island's open world will be full of corruption and crime, as well as island traditions that will complicate the investigation. The adventure setting resembles a Mediterranean paradise, but as we explore, we will soon discover shady secrets, horrible crimes, and a judicial system that is anything but fair. There, the locals tend to take the law into their own hands, while the authorities make inappropriate use of the organisms that govern the management of the place. During the main missions, we will find several suspects, but choosing the guilty one will depend on your skills as a detective and how you interpret the clues and theories. Regarding the confrontations, it has been stated that the combat only takes place if it is justified by the story. In those cases, the player is encouraged not to use lethal ammunition. 
If you do, your relationship with your friend John may end up shaking. The main story will last about 15 hours, although beating the game completely can take between 30 and 40 hours. In addition to the five main missions, the game will offer about 30 side quests, and each one of them, yes, will make us take a moral decision. This is the largest and most ambitious Sherlock Holmes game ever created. Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 is scheduled to be released in 2021 and will be released for PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X. Like this video, leave a comment and subscribe for more. Bye bye.